No contact can work for anyone if they look at it as if they're improving their life. You can't expect to get somebody after 30 days because that's what your intentions are and think that you're still going to have a good no contact. You will not because things are not aligning in your own life. <music> What I do, what is up, my B Boss baddies and my bad mind of fellas. It is your girl Bosana and welcome B Boss Army. So as you guys can tell by the title, I'm gonna be talking about why no contact hasn't worked for you. So if you don't know already, I dropped a video about why no contact works so well. If you haven't checked it out, of course, make sure you check it out after this video. That might help you, it should help you as well. Um, so you guys already know what's up, the Patreon's up. I drop a video on Patreon every week now. Those videos, of course, will not be shown on YouTube. So the only way you can see it, if you go pledge after the first tier. So of course, make sure you follow me on my social media. And that's really about it. Anything else I gotta say, I'll make sure I say at the end. And yeah, let's actually get into this. So why no contact hasn't worked for you? It could be very self-explanatory. If you did something slightly off, then it cannot work. And if you have somebody that's not the type that actually has any interest for you or been using you throughout the whole relationship or throughout the whole whatever you guys had, the type of friendship, whatever friends with benefits, whatever it is, then you will, chances are, you will not have it work for you. Now, what a lot of people have been commenting in my video of why no contact works so well is that it's not for 30 days. Um, first off, you guys, it's technically for 30 days only because if you actually do search it up on Google, it's legit a thing. No contact is a legit thing. Realistically, no contact can go on forever. No contact can be forever. If you, and I even gave advice this to my consultations that you don't have to think within this month, it's gonna happen. This can happen in two, three months. This can happen a year later when you keep going on with no contact. There is no time on no contact. No contact is just all about being on your purpose. Like. I tell you guys this all the time, no contact is just coming back to yourself, finding your true self, and just understanding that life is for you and not for somebody else. That's what it is. And then you're supposed to expect somebody's gonna come back into your life. That's why there's really no time frame because this can happen anytime. But 30 days does kill. Sometimes people come back in your life within two weeks. It all depends on how much they have feelings for you and how much they have going in their life and how they're choosing to their, live their life in that moment and how much you matter to them. In life, you can't always expect everything to work in your favor. I said it can work in your favors and other videos when you're living for yourself, when you're doing things for yourself. So I'm saying when you put somebody else first in your life all the time, that's when you can't expect to always win. I tell you guys, the only way you can always expect to win is if you're doing things for yourself. And that's why you have to take no contact as something you're doing for yourself. And when you're not doing it for yourself, that's why it's not working. Because two things is like people want to take no contact to get the person they want back only. That's what they want to think about. And secondly is that no contact is legit just a strategy for you to get back on the right path. When you actually think about life and the way things are supposed to run, it's supposed to be happiness. It's supposed to be joy. It's supposed to be peace. You can't find that when you're dealing with something that's toxic, difficult. No contact can work for anyone if they look at it as if they're improving their life. Now, getting onto more of the spiritual side, I don't really want to do this because some people are spiritual at all, but realistically, you don't have to be spiritual at all. The spiritual side works in your favor. The universe works in your favor, but you have to make sure things align. Now, when you actually take no contact and you look at it as, I only want this person and you don't care about improving your life, having a happy life, things will not align if you decide to do that and then end up getting that person back. So what I'm trying to say is like, this is you. And when you're looking at things, you have your whole life in front of you, right? You have that person. You don't look at your life. You just look at that person. Now you decide to go ghost, right? You're gone. The 30 days is up. The one week is up. The one year is up. Whatever time you end up getting with your no contact is up. Then you end up actually getting that girl back. Okay? You end up getting her back. But you're not happy. You're still getting treated like shit. You're not happy. You still don't have a job because you've just been thinking about it the whole time. You didn't want to apply for another job. And you've been, you know, unemployed for so long. You're still not happy because you are gaining weight. So many things are going wrong. 
but you got this girl back but the girl is here right right next to you but here's your whole life it's a whole mess all the things that i just listed is what's going on in your life and they all revolve around no peace no happiness your whole life is not aligned you just have somebody in your life now in the spiritual side when things don't align you don't make things align it will not work out the universe doesn't play in your favor you don't get the good result you don't get what you want out of life and that's because you are going for the wrong things you are not understanding the purpose of life you are not getting on your purpose you can't expect to get somebody after 30 days because that's what your intentions are and think that you're still gonna have a good no contact you will not because things are not aligning in your own life things are not aligning in your whole life and you're expecting things to go right what sense does that make? It makes absolutely no sense because no matter who is in your life, you can't be happy in life. If you took away life out of this whole thing, there is no life. You're not living anymore. But if you say life is my life, life is about you, life is about doing things for yourself and being happy for yourself, then trust me, no matter who it is, they will not get in between your happiness, your peace, your success. No, because you will know where you can put them in life. The universe will help you align it all. But first, you have to know what's important in life. And that's exactly why no contact is not working for you. You're not understanding the real, real purpose. You are just living for somebody else still. No contact is not a fix. It's a guidance giving you a hint that you are at a bad place right now in life or you are too consumed about somebody. You're too about somebody. You're just all about that person and you have to get back on track. It can't fix your life. It can't make you feel like, oh, I have this person back. That's the problem. When you guys look at it, that person is supposed to be your fix. You can't look at no contact and think this is going to fix everything. Regardless if you have that person right there or not, or never, ever, it does not matter. You have your life back. You have your peace. You have your sanity. You have everything, dignity back because you decided to go on this no contact with no expectations to get them back and that's when it works better for somebody because they don't have so much fear they don't have so much pressure they don't have so much things that are getting in the way of how they're living their life because they're so worried about them coming back faking no contact and 100 percent it is you faking it because first of all it's supposed to not be about just to get somebody back and then you're faking the feeling of i'm actually over her i don't care if i get her back you know, and that's why things don't manifest, things don't happen. If you only say you want this girl, you will only be with this girl. If you only become about somebody, you'll only be about them. It might not work out in your favor, but it's always going to work out in a way it's going to control your mind. You're only going to think about them and that's going to affect your life. And you're going to just be in a worse place most likely. So with no contact, if you just take it to be you getting better in life, you having a better life, then you are going to be okay you are gonna have the results that you want. If you expect no contact to just be about somebody getting somebody back, then don't think it's gonna work. And also with no contact, yeah, I'm talking more about life and being on your purpose because that's how no contact should actually be. But understand if no contact for you is just about somebody, you have to make sure you're doing it the right way in a sense that you actually have to be distracted. You have to go from the beginning all the way to the end. No contact is not going to work for you if you put a time on it. No contact is not going to work for you if you're not making it about your life, making it about your purpose. No, it's not going to work at all. No contact will not work. If you don't treat no contact as you better in yourself in life, it will not work at all. I'm telling you guys straight up because regardless of who you get, that doesn't determine your happiness. I'm telling you now, if you can't be happy in your own life, then you will not be happy with that person. It has to be about you first. So taking no contact, you weren't being selfish. You weren't being selfish enough. You weren't being about yourself enough. That's why it's not working. You actually contacted that person before the time period that they thought it was good for them to hit you back up. That's literally the case because if you put the 30 days or whatever time frame, time period you want to put, and it doesn't happen in that time, then okay, no contact is not going to work. You can't put a time on it, even though there is technically a time for no contact. You have to just treat it the way of no contact until the end. And you're probably still cheating a little bit. Like I said, you guys might be faking it where your feelings are really, really there. And I can't expect you to not have no feelings, but you're still going out of your way to contact their family. You're still going to places that they always went to, visited. Like you're still making it not work out for yourself. So believe this, that if you do no contact, 
the right way in a sense where it revolves around life instead of somebody then it'll end up working out for you regardless you have to decide how you want to treat no contact so i hope this video helped you guys out and if it did please give me a big thumbs up please give me a big thumbs up if you want a quicker video to come up make sure you check out my patreon for extra videos more advices and a whole lot more and then of course make sure you follow me on my social media and you guys will see me in my next video bye guys